April 7th, 1972. The Grateful Dead starts their European tour uh, that would culminate in November of that year with this amazing Grateful Dead record. Europe 72. Look at, what, what a cover, what a great cover this was. Now, okay, it's upside down. Has a booklet inside. There's the booklet. Okay, I don't usually do previews of records, but I've, I've done several videos on my time growing up in San Francisco, The Grateful Dead, I did a ranking video. But Europe 72, on my ranking video, which I'll link below, was my number one Grateful Dead record, the top of all the rankings. Now, this is of the releases in the day, not the posthumous, all the live archival releases and deadhead releases and all that chazerai. But um, grew up in San Francisco. I first saw the dead in 68, I think. That famous shot of the dead in on Haight Street, they're on the platform of the truck, at the back of the truck, I think it was. I was there. I was a little kid with my bicycle. I saw the get dead in Golden Gate Park. I saw the dead in Winterland. My favorite period is like the early 70s. I went to the New Year's Eve shows at Winterland. I'm thinking 71, 72, 72, 73, 73, 74. I could have got that first year wrong because you deadheads know more than I do. I mean, I don't know every version of Dark Star and I'm, I'm not that kind of deadhead. I saw about 30 plus dead shows over the years, but the early 70s with Donna Godshow and um, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Godshow on piano. And I did see the uh, early 72 and before that, the pig pen, pig pen shows. But November 1972, I'm walking down Market Street. I'm going into the Music Land store, which is, a Calif which is a West Coast chain, I believe. And I saw this record up there. This cover, and they had them back to back, alternated with this cover. This is the best thing. Now, purists may say, what the F, Mazzy? They augmented that, and it's true. They added some vocals, and you know, the Grateful Dead half the time played out of tune. Just a fact. They did an amazing job on this record, and they made the vocals shine. This is a great sounding record. If I had to pick one Grateful Dead record to take with me to Grateful Dead Land in San Francisco, in Golden Gate Park, in the Hate, 710 Ashbury, where the Grateful Dead uh, mansion, not mansion, a Victorian uh, was, I was born in the hate. Uh, this would be the album. It's so great. So the date today is the 50th anniversary where they started the European European tour. There was a later release that I think Grateful Dead Records and Rhino put out, which is this. This is this is what a whacked out cover this is. This is Grateful Dead Europe 72 Volume Two. Whacked out, crazy cover, almost like Big Big Daddy Roth in a way. Um, and in 2000, uh, 10, 11 years ago, there was the full trunk CD set. Crazy, it was like $500, $450 of all the shows on CD from Europe 72. Well, today they announced, as the Grateful Dead, they do one huge collection each year they announce this this is something like what is it 24 records this is the complete recordings of the lyceum london shows four nights may 23rd 24th 25th and 26th during the europe 72 concert of of the grateful dead of the Lyceum shows in London. Now, for you freaks out there, I'm a freak. I'm not a completist. And again, I don't consider myself a deadhead, although I'm, you know, I feel privileged and I feel special because I was there in San Francisco at the time of the Grateful Dead. We even lived down the peninsula uh, in Menlo Park, right near Palo Alto, and the Grateful Dead, you know, Jerry Garcia taught guitar, and they were kind of from the South Bay there, or the Mid-South Bay. Uh, that's near Stanford University, Kepler's Bookstore. I remember all that shit. I was too young, but I remember all that shit. But um, 
this is a crazy friggin package so if you go for the big one indiv individually numbers 4,000 copies of this and it is 24 LPs 24 LPs of the Lyceum shows is Mazzy gonna order it wait and see I think it comes out in June or so I love this stuff and I love it on vinyl. Sure, you can sometimes people say, I'll oh, get a high res download, get a CD, whatever. Um, I will put a link about David Lemire's uh, Seaside Chats where he talks about this release. He's up here in the Pacific Northwest. And um, I love when he introduces these once a year amazing dead sets. So there'll be a link below if you want to watch his full video where he talks about this series of shows, the Lyceum, the Europe 72, but I kind of just wanted to do a, uh, a, a mini video because I'm a deadhead at heart, but I'm not all in, divey in. And those of you who may stumble across this video who are one of those people with all the old taping things that saw hundreds of dead shows and everything. I never saw a dead show post uh, Jerry Garcia, after 89, I only saw them probably twice. Excuse me, excuse me, after 79, I saw them only twice. One was in 89, and I forgot the other one. But the Winterland New Year's Eve shows were special shows to me. So I just wanted to have this little uh, mini video of the Grateful Dead. Go to gratefuldead.net. I am not a shill. I am not promoting this for any reason. I don't get a cut of this. As a fan, I just wanted to give a little announcement. So if you're a dead person and you like these shows and you're a vinyl collector, 400 copies, it ain't cheap. It'll run you probably by the time with tax and shipping, well over $600, but you know how these things are. In five years, you could resell it for two or three times that. But it's not something to get into uh, instead of the stock market. So don't buy records for investments. Buy it because you love the music. And I love this friggin' music. Uh, Europe 72, part do do that's it thank you we love you san francisco i miss my hometown my homebody mazzy loves you and there's nothing like a grateful dead concert